Cheese. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Cooking with Coupel. Today, I'm going to help you curb your cravings for takeout fried rice while also staying keto or slash low carb. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, so today, uh, my drink of choice is going to be Rev Pill by uh, Revolution Brewing Company right here in Chicago. Going with a Pilsner, I've always gone with something a little bit lighter, uh, a little more crisp, especially when uh, pairing it up with uh, fried rice. It's phenomenal. Yeah, good beer. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. One of the things with making fried rice is very time and temperature sensitive. So once you're at the stove, it's gonna be a lot of fast, quick work. So we like to get all of our prep work done, uh, and get our, uh, our meats and floss together. So what we're gonna do first is we've got three cloves of garlic and right here I've got two to three of these uh, dried Thai chilies I recently got. I, I haven't had any luck finding um, fresh ones anywhere. So I have no idea how hot these are. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, you <coughs> okay, yeah, no, they've got a good kick for sure. Exactly what I was looking for, so very happy and happy. Uh, because I know that these are definitely just as spicy as the fresh ones, though, I'm going to go ahead and only use two. Yeah, that should be the perfect amount. You don't want your fried rice to be too spicy. If you like it uh, more spicy, then uh, help yourself. Just giving these a nice chop. Okay, that should be fine right there. So your garlic and your Thai chilies are going to act as your aromatics in the dish. Those are that's what's going to go in um, probably second. The eggs are going first, and these go in about second. Yeah, aromatic in the name. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and get about maybe 10 to 12 uh, stalks of green onion, and we'll go ahead and get these all chopped up. Okay, that's going to be plenty right there. One thing you can do too to add a little bit of garnish is uh, take take a take a couple pieces of your take a couple of your green pieces and very thinly slice them. Okay, now that we've got our um, aromatics and our vegetables done for the most part, uh, we can go ahead and start working on our proteins now. So now that we're on to protein, you uh, you pretty much have free reign to use whatever you would like. Uh, you can do chicken, pork, lots of different types of seafood. In this case, something that I like to do a lot. Um, it might seem a little bit weird using spam, it just in general, <laughs> in general, but it does very well in fried rice. Um, adds a nice bit of saltiness to it. What I like to do is cube it up and uh, toast it on the stove. I mean, come on, who doesn't like spam? If you don't like spam, you're lying. You should you should unsubscribe right now. It's just processed meat. What are you? What are you afraid of? Oops. I bought already cooked frozen shrimp. Um, you can get fresh, you can get whatever you like. Um, this was just a lot easier. Uh, what I did to prepare this, since it was frozen and it has a lot of moisture, I just cooked it on the stove, let the water evaporate, you know, without trying to overcook the shrimp. The biggest thing about fried rice is moisture is the fucking enemy. So what I like to do a lot of times is pre-cook things, sweat a lot of your proteins. If you're doing chicken as well, you're going to have some fat in there depending on what cut you're using or pork, but you want to pre-cook that. And that's one thing I've learned too with burger fried. Uh, one thing I've learned too with fried rice is it's a lot of pre-cooking everything before you start assembling it into your wok. Now that we have our protein done, uh, let's go ahead and assemble our fried rice sauce. I've been making fried rice since I was about 13. It was terrible, actually. Uh, shout out to my parents for choking down the fried rice that I made uh, during those early years. Uh, for some reason, I thought cucumber was acceptable in fried rice, and it was just wet. The whole thing was wet. Uh, and also, I've always played around with the, the sauce that I use. After years of doing this, I've learned that just an even mixture of soy sauce and oyster sauce work beautifully. Yeah, that's perfect. Two tablespoons oyster sauce. Sorry, two ta two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons oyster sauce. That's all you're gonna need. Anyways, so let's talk about cauliflower rice. So luckily, uh, luckily in today's market, there are uh, 
a lot of different options for cauliflower rice. You can either make it homemade, like I've done here. Um, you can buy it prepackaged as well, um, usually in the uh, produce. But I'll have it already made for you. Kind of like a dry, kind of like how this is, like uncooked. They have a frozen one with carrots and peas already in there, so which is good. It adds some more vegetable to your uh, <clears throat> to your fried rice. I'm going to cook this separately. Um, give it a nice toast with probably a little bit of vegetable oil. Keep in mind too, um, these are all just fundamentals of fried rice. So if you aren't keto or low carb but still uh, are interested in this recipe, this is this is pretty much how you make fried rice in general. So. No, not general, so. Right, right. Last but not least, um, I'll be adding three eggs and about a half a cup of frozen peas. Other than getting ready your um, MSG vegetable oil, um, always go with either vegetable oil or peanut oil um, for fried rice. Never do olive oil or anything weird. And I use just a little bit of this, but this is uh, Chinese five spice. Other than that, you'll be using a little bit of salt. You'll want to season your cauliflower rice that you're going to use. All right, let's go and head over the stove. I'm excited to show you guys how to do this. So as you can see here, I've got everything laid out the way that it's going to go in. So first things first that we're going to do is going to go ahead and cook down and toast our cauliflower rice with a little bit of vegetable oil. We'll season that with salt and a little bit of Chinese five spice as well. Next up, we're going to cook our spam, um, crisp it up a little bit, get that ready. Our shrimp is already ready to go, so that's just gonna be sitting off to the side for now. Then next in line, I've got the eggs, aromatics, green onion, peas, sauce, MSG, and then our garnish. While we have a second too, we can go ahead and crack our eggs. Just do a normal whisk here. The spam we can see visually, but make sure you're tasting your cauliflower rice, especially if you're going with a uh, raw cauliflower. Just keep an eye on the texture. Because remember, we're gonna be cooking this a little bit more later too. Spam is done, so we'll go ahead and cut the heat on that, set that aside. And let's go ahead and get our rice cauliflower pulled out aside as well into a separate bowl. Let's get to it. So first things first, let's go ahead and set our stove to medium high and we'll get some oil in our wok. Anywhere between two and three tablespoons of oil is gonna be good. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get our eggs cooked and we're gonna set those aside. All right, I think now is a good time. Let's go ahead and get our eggs in. And you'll see how they cook. They go very quick. Give them a good little mix. We don't want them to burn, so make sure we're moving around a little bit. We don't want to cook them all the way, so we can go ahead and say that that's cooked right now, cut our heat, and let's go ahead and remove the eggs from the wok into a separate container. And then go ahead and wipe your pan down with a rag. All right, set it back down. Again, we're going back to medium high heat, a little more towards the, uh, the high. Right now, let's go ahead and get some oil in the pan again, get a good amount. Wait for that to heat up. If you don't have a wok too, it's totally fine to use a, um, a pan that has uh, more curved edges, um, just so you're able to keep things moving and toss your fried rice. Time to start going. So first things first is gonna be your aromatics. So your garlic and chilies. Get those in, keep constantly stirring, moving your pan around. Oh man, you can already smell that, that's crazy. All right, after about six seconds, get your green onions in. Oh my God, if you, <coughs> if you can smell it in here. We can get our eggs back in. I probably could go with higher heat, so I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get our proteins in so we can add our shrimp furs just because those need to get heated up just a little bit. Add in our spam. And let's go ahead and get our peas added in as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get our cauliflower rice in there now. Probably could have went with a little bit more, but it'll be all right. Alright, we'll let that cook down for just a little bit. Make sure you taste as you're going. Really good. Ooh, this has got a good kick to it too, overall. Wow, very nice. Since this is looking a little, um, like it did pick up a little more moisture. Moisture is blocking it. No, go a little easy on the, uh, the sauce here that we have. I'm gonna hold back maybe a half a tablespoon and just kinda see, see where I'm at. Uh, I'm at the good point now where I can go ahead and add an undisclosed amount of MSG. Go ahead and sprinkle a decent amount in there and get that all tossed in. All right, I'm at a good stopping point now. I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat and uh, let's uh, let's start let's start serving. Make sure you get your uh, your other leftover green onions on there as garnish, and there you go, a keto low carb cauliflower fried rice. Go ahead and give it a taste. 
Wow. It's so important using the aromatics in the beginning. The depth of flavor from garlic and the Thai chili peppers, especially the heat from the Thai chili peppers, just bold, just just blends us all together and gives you such a huge depth of flavor. Definitely give this a try for yourself. You will not be disappointed. Um, if, you, if you need to use regular rice, um, if you don't want to do keto or low carb, that's totally fine too. Um, this recipe, again, these, these are just the fundamentals for making fried rice in general. So no matter, no matter what you do, you're going to uh, you're gonna have a good time. Just make sure you follow the steps that I did in terms of your aromatics. Cooking on high heat, home stoves can only do so much uh, in terms of temperature. But give this a shot for yourself, and uh, thank you guys again for watching. Um, you guys seem to enjoy the first video I put out, um, so obviously, I'm you know back at it again with another one, and uh, I've got a few more planned out. So stay tuned for more videos. Um, if you guys have any requests on different uh, low carb or keto dishes that you'd like to see, or something that you maybe enjoy in your regular life that you would like to have me make into a keto dish or provide you with a keto recipe. Happy to do that. Um, I have a lot of fun doing this. So, yeah, now that I've done this video, uh, I've got lunch, so. Peace! Where the fuck are your pants?